Hey guys, this is Alex and my Freedom Smokes and today we're going to talk about the Kanger K-Box. Now we're going to take a closer look at the K-Box. Uh, it's very beautifully constructed, uh, it's nice and heavy, uh, so you don't have to worry about it really breaking on you too quickly. Uh, same with most batteries, you turn it on and off by clicking the button five times. See now we've got it on and you can also change your settings at the very bottom this button here uh, this does go up in intervals uh, it's got 8, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40 watts so when you click the button the light on the side tells you what wattage you're at the dots on the side on the opposite end tell you how much battery life you have left uh, we do have a fully charged battery in here so all the lights go up to the top there is no pass through on this. You do have to remove your 18650 anytime it needs to charge. Like so, slap it in your charger when it's fully charged, just put it right back in, and you're ready to go. Now that we've had a closer look at it, let's give her a run. I'm going to use the Kanger uh, Sub Tank Nano. We're going to pop this on. Uh, it's a Max VG liquid and I've got it set at 30 watts. And I think this is actually the 1.2 ohm coil. Uh, so let's see how well. It's just a really great handheld device. Uh, very powerful. Uh, I would say the only downside to it is it doesn't have the little pass through that way you can just charge your battery without having to take it out each time. But all in all, it's a really, really great setup. Uh, I know a lot of people that have got it and this is probably one of our hottest selling mods we've got right now. Uh, the diameter at the top is wide enough to even fit the sub tank plus without it overlapping. Honestly, this device was made for these sub tanks and they work tremendously on it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. 